Real life. We are. Hey everyone, how are you going? This evening I have red cabbage, a traditional Christmas dish that many people like for some ridiculously strange reason I can't fathom. Not a fan of it, um, but happy to make it for yourselves. I've made it thousands of times in restaurants. Um, nice compliment of pork dishes, stuff like that. Again, Christmas and stuff, obviously. Um, so I'll get cracking straight away. I'll show you the ingredients we have. We've red cabbage. I have one whole one. I actually want to show you how to slice it, so I still have half of the unsliced there. I've dried cranberries purely because I couldn't get fresh. Get fresh, just use about 150, 200 grams of fresh. This is 100 grams of dried. I have one onion sliced, like so. I have apple cider vinegar. You can use um, red wine vinegar if you prefer. I have 100 grams, a little bit more 100 grams there actually, of brown sugar. But you need 100 grams. So I have about a teaspoon each, maybe a little more, a teaspoon and a half. It's up to yourself how, how much spice you like in it, of ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg. I beg your pardon, ground cinnamon and ground clove. Use maybe four cloves, five cloves. Again, if you like it, kind of that high spice juice, maybe six or even seven. I have fresh nutmeg. I grate it. By the way, my hands, my nails, everything were spotless. I'm chopping red cabbage. It's my hands. Yours are the same. You're going to go red as soon as you touch red cabbage and you're chopping it. So my hands are actually clean just that I'm doing red cabbage. So there's um, nutmeg. That's when I've grated into it. I'll show you that in a moment when I'm doing that. Uh, what else do I have? I'm going to drop out a drop of port in it. It's optional. It's Christmas. Why not? And then we have the dreaded red cabbage. I like red cabbage. I like it raw. I like it in salads, coleslaw, stuff like that. I'm not a fan of it cooked like this. That's all. Um, pure, I don't like, really like sweet and kind of soury dishes. That's what this is. You get a sweetness from it. And um, from the sugar, from the apple. Oh, my apple. Where's my apple? What's in here? <laughs> Jesus. I'm so with it tonight. Um, so yeah, my apple here. I have um, two cooking apples, two brandy cooking apples. Use Granny Smith if you can't get that. So we'll start off... I'll just move these bits out of the way because I want to chop this fella here. I have orange as well there. I'll zest that up in a moment. I'll show you. So what you do here is cut your cut your cabbage in half like so. And then down here, mind your fingers, down and cut out right down. And then the same on this side. Cut right down and there's your root. Gone. And you have this now. So cut. Remove the outer leaves. And then flicker around and then just from here the top slice nice and thinly. I'm using a big knife. I'm not using one of my other knives that you normally see me use because cutting cabbage, a big knife is what you need for it. A small little knife. If you have a small little knife, let me show you. Now, anyway, I'll finish this. So cut it in half there and then that goes into your rest of your cabbage. If you've got a small knife, Cut it again. Let me grab a small knife and then cut it like that, okay? Don't try and cut it when it's too big. If you've only got a small little knife, you'll take fingers and all off the stuff. What knife am I using? I'm sure I'm going to be asked. This is a Victorinox knife. This is um, really old. I've had this since the very start of my career, 30 odd years ago, to give it to me my first day in college. And I've had the same knife ever since. Fantastic knife, not expensive. That's the, um, is it Rosewood, I think they call it, handles or something like that. Um, you'll find them, just look up any catering supplier. I highly recommend Ken Demar if you're in Dublin. That's K-E-N-D-E-M-A-R. Um, they've got a website, just Google them. Really good stuff. Let me give this a quick wash. Now, I'm talking over here and I hope you can hear me. I noticed the microphone is dropping out when I moved away from the kitchen, which is shutting do. Shut them do. But I have another mic, I'll try if this is a situation. So if that dropped out there, just let me know in the comments and I'll swap mics out for the next video. Anyway, cabbage. So we stick our cabbage in, just give it a nice rinse. You would have a bigger slow cooker. This is only a small little slow cooker. Look at that chunk now, that's no good. You can't have that. That's not going to cook down and it's not going to be cooked evenly when the other ones but that one that chunk wouldn't cook anyway now about 75 mils of port if you're going to use it you can use red wine as well if you want to a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of this is clove ground clove remember about five to six or maybe even if you like it highly spiced seven to eight cinnamon you can use the cinnamon stick i'd break it in half and kind of put half over and half over
my partner's just come in and she's typed it down. Thank you very much, Ev. She's come in and said, move the camera up. She typed into the WhatsApp. I can see your trainers. <laughs> I love my production skills. They're fantastic. Anyway, I'm here to show you how to cook, not to shoot videos. And um, so this is the cranberries, the dried ones. Get fresh. I couldn't find them. I was in Tesco's. They didn't have them. So I got to dry just for the sake of the video. Um, about four tablespoons, maybe six, four. It's, this is a really nice apple cider vinegar. So I'll put the, um, I'll put maybe five, six into it. Your onion. Make sure now you break it up that it's separated. And a pinch of salt. Don't go mad. But don't be too shy either. And your sugar. Your 100 grams. In like that. Now, this is a... Uh, This is quite full, this slow cooker. It's quite a small one. I have my other slow cooker for the here's one I made earlier to show you guys. So this is just a little bit more full now than I would. So let's just pretend like it's not, okay? It's, if, use your imagination. So give it a little bit of a stir, all right? Um, if you've got only a small slow cooker, this is what, this is a three and a half liter one. If you've only got a small, small slow cooker like this one, then um, you can do half the recipe or else just mix it all in a bowl. Put it all into a big bowl, mix it all in a bowl, then put it in there, and then stick your um, your liquids and your juice and your lids on it. Yeah. Orange, grab an orange. But this thing here, very handy thing. If you don't have one, it's fine. Use a grater. Um, this like this again, another grater, type of grater. If you don't have one of these, it's fine. Use the regular grater. I have one somewhere. I tend not to use it anyway. This is a zester. It's a handy little thing. You'll get one. Every catering supplier does this zester. So I'll bung that over there. And all you do is grab your orange. Make sure you give your outside of your orange a rinse now as well. And that's this. And do lemons, limes, everything. Great for Thai food. Great if you're baking, Christmas cake, stuff like that. And just get some lovely, nice zest. Also great for garnish and desserts. My lemon and lime cheesecake. Check that out for Christmas. It's an easy one to make. It's on my website. Just Google BMOT, lemon and lime. Yeah, that orange. So this orange is quite soft, but if the orange is hard, give it a roll around the table. Keep the knife away from your hands. You don't want to slip and cut yourself, especially if you've got kids and you're being distracted. So give it a roll around and get it soft. Then cut into it and then just squeeze that juice. If you've got a, um, a juicer, not the big machine yokes, you can use that I too, I suppose, but if you want to go to all that trouble, I wouldn't personally. But if you've got one of those little juice, um, juice things, stick it in there. I have one, but I don't have it here with me. They're fierce handy. They're dirt cheap as well. Just a little wooden thing. Stick it in like that. Give it a twist and that'll juice that lovely. Make sure your hands are clean, obviously, doing this. Now, take that. So give that a good stir around. Okay, let's just imagine I'm doing that here now. And uh, yeah, let's flick that. Basically, that's it. Stick your lid on it. You can stick a drop of water in it if you want. I find it doesn't need it. Um, especially when you're using the Brambley apples, it just doesn't need it. Stick it on high for, give that a good four hours on high or give it a good eight hours on low. Um, let me move that out of the way. Let me give this a quick clean up. I'll show you that again. A zester. If you, I'm going to have a camera. A zester. If you look up um, catering supplier Ireland, all of them will supply things like that. Then most of them will supply Victorinox knives as well. They do a plastic handle set. They're fantastic. Every chef in the world will tell you. Knocks nice. We all use them. They're really, really good. Anyway, let's give this a wipe off. And let me show you. Here's one I made earlier. Or maybe I should say, rather than here's one I made earlier, here's one I'm still making. This needs, an, this needs another couple of hours in cooking. Yeah. Look at the difference. Let me put those side by side and give you an idea of what to expect. So this is what you have. These are basically exactly the same. I've done exactly with this, what I've done with that. And um, this is a little deeper, this slow cooker, than this one. Um, anyway, so that's what you have. You start with that and you have this. Don't be tempted to open your slow cooker except for halfway through, if you're about. It's not essential if you're not, but if you are halfway through. So if you're doing it on high, do it to two hours in and give it a stir. Just give it a nice little stir. Get the 
that cabbage in particular down into the liquid. See all the juices that have come out there now? Get that cabbage down into that. When that's done then, you can take it off after your, let me put the lid back on that now. When that's done then, um, take it off and allow it to cool. Heat that and you can reheat that then in the microwave or cover with tin foil. A little bit of turkey stock is nice on that as well. The juices when you're roasting your turkey is nice on that as well. Another little hint is a little bit of ham water um, into that also is quite good because it's got very similar things, cinnamon and so on. In ham water, what else? That's everything. Oh no, it's not. If you want to do it in your oven, cover and um, put it in a casserole dish, cover it with a casserole with a lid or tin foil, put it in your oven 180 for a good two hours. Check it, stir it, might need another 45 minutes, depending on how thick or thin you cut your, your cabbage. What else? Um, can you use other apples? Yes, I already said Brambley or Granny Smith. If you use a sweet apple, like those red apples and stuff, soft apples, it's just not going to have the same effect. You want the kind of that tart apple that's good with lemon juice. You can put it in there as well. It's quite good. Um, red wine instead of port. Leave the wine out altogether if you don't want to put it in. That's not an issue either. How long can it keep for? This will keep for a good four to five days in your fridge if you cover it really, really well. Airtight container. Give it a stir. You can heat it on a pan as well. You can fry it off in a pan. A little bit of um, water and sugar into it. We'll just kind of bring it back. Can you freeze it? You can, but it's not great frozen, to be honest with you. I don't like it frozen, personally. It just absorbs water, and it ends up just this kind of, yeah, it's not nice. You lose a lot of flavour. Um, other way to do it in a pot, if you don't want to do it in your oven, stick it in a pot, cover it with a lid, and um, bring it up to heat. Say, remember, you don't have a lot of liquid to work with, so you're sweating the liquids out of it. So if you boil it and boil it, it's just going to burn. So don't do that. It's a low heat cooking dish. That's important. Do not turn your stove up to high or anything like that. Keep it on low. Keep it covered. Don't keep opening it and be tempted to open it. Keep it covered. That's important. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do another video on Thursday. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll let you know tomorrow or Thursday morning. And um, again, all of these recipes and with link backs to these videos that I'm doing will be on my website from next week on a little Christmas section that I'm putting together for you. Um, spices I'm giving away here. Let me show you. I'll just grab some quickly. Uh, glaze, I don't know, here it doesn't matter. I have my glaze as well, you know, the pouch of ham glaze that comes with it as well, with the aged port in it. So there's the spices. Somebody comment, that's all you have to do, comment, and I'll give those away to somebody again tomorrow. Um, I'll ship them out to you tomorrow if you come back to me and let me know your details when I uh, when I pick you. Let me know your details as quickly as possible and I'll ship it then the moment I get them. Anyway, listen, everyone, thanks for watching. Look at that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yum, it smells lovely. I'm sure... You know, I know you'll love it if you'd make it, just it's not my thing. Anyway, go on. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on Thursday. Bye-bye.